special I thought I handled this so well I know we had the right intentions But somehow it came to an end Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a handheld chicken pot pie. Now this really is a fun recipe. This is one of those everyday type recipes that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, it's great if you have little kids because they love to eat with their hands. It's also a perfect appetizer type recipe. But what it's really great for um, is for those of you who are always on the go and you need to bring something with you to eat, this is the recipe. It's so very, very simple. Uh, you can utilize leftover chicken in your refrigerator or you can buy rotisserie chicken breast or pre-cooked diced or shredded chicken works absolutely perfect. And that's what's great about this recipe is the majority, if not all of it, is pantry items. You know, um, if you wanted to make stuff from scratch like the chicken, you could. But for those of you, I know like myself, that's always busy. Every once in a while, you're looking for those really quick recipes and this is it. It's everything that you remember about chicken pot pies, that creamy filling, those tender chunks of chicken and vegetables in a handheld pie. You're gonna love it. So, enough talking. Let's get cooking. Let's start by preheating our oven at 375 degrees and then on our stove, uh, we need a small saucepan and we'll turn on the heat to about medium and then we'll add three tablespoons of butter and we'll just melt that down. And once it's melted down, we're gonna add three tablespoons of flour to it. Stir it in until it's nice and smooth. Cook it for about a minute. And then we wanna shut the heat off because we're gonna add one cup of milk to that. And then you wanna put the heat back on and then we're gonna to stir to combine that. Next, we'll add one can of Campbell's cream of chicken soup with herbs. And just uh, stir that in until it's nice and smooth. And then we'll add one half teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of onion powder. And then here I have a half a cup of mixed vegetables and a half a cup of diced potatoes and one cup of diced pre-cooked chicken. Just mix that all in. Our filling is done, so shut off the heat. Let's prep our muffin tin. So here I just have about a tablespoon of melted butter. I'm just going to grease um, eight tins. Uh, the recipe makes 16, so you would have to do 16, but I'm only making eight for uh, the purpose of today's tutorial. So here we have a can of crescent rolls. Just open that up and we're going to just roll that out. Turn it sideways and then with a knife, we're just going to cut um, each triangle section in half, like so. And that'll give you uh, 16 triangle pieces, if you will, kind of triangle pieces. <laughs> okay, so use the larger pieces of the dough to line the bottom of the muffin tin, and then we're gonna add one scoop of our filling to the dough. It's probably a little bit more than a tablespoon or so. And then with the smaller piece of dough, just lay it on top, stretch it out a little, and try to close up any of the gaps as best as you can. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Trust me, it doesn't have to be perfect. The dough will come together when you put it in the oven and you cook it. But try to get the biggest obvious cracks sealed any way you can do it. It's not a beauty contest. Okay, so I'll finish up the last one here. Just tuck in the edges and again, 
place the smaller piece of dough on top and fit it in. Now with a pair of kitchen scissors or a knife if you have that sharp, just you want to pierce the top for venting. Okay. Now let's stick it in our preheated oven. And we are going to set a timer for about 15 minutes. It's pretty consistent with 15 minutes, at least in my oven. But you want to cook it until the tops are at least a nice golden brown. Okay, after 15 minutes, they are done. They look beautiful, so let's take them out. I'm just going to set them on this rack to the side. Now let's plate it and taste it. All right, here they are guys, our handheld chicken pot pies. And I've let mine come to room temperature completely so I can handle them easily and eat them on camera because I don't want to burn myself. So look how cute, so adorable. Okay. Mm. That creamy filling and the tender chunks of chicken, so yummy. They travel perfectly. I mean, look at this. You can take them anywhere. <laughs> now, uh, in the ingredients uh, that is listed in the description box below and at the beginning of this tutorial, um, that is enough to make two batches. So you would be using two sheets of uh, the crescent rolls. But for today's tutorial purposes, I only used one tube. So I only have my eight crescent rolls but it's enough for 16 and trust me, you're gonna want that many. Everybody's gonna love them. You could feed everyone, no problem, on the go. I hope you guys try and enjoy this recipe. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything. And as always guys, until next time.